I'm sitting watching blood while it dries on my sleep Thinking why does everyone I love die I just leave And if I mean a thing, then why would you leave? My mind only sees the suicide side of things At this point we can't relate if you ain't lost everything Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back to West Wild World I hope you all are having a fantastic day Don't mind the dog Um it's in all my videos, so just deal with it. Um, I'm not locking up the dogs for the videos. It just seems a bit cruel. But yeah, so something surprising happened that these guys here laid eggs again after they just laid a clutch, which was really, really weird. Um, happened in the last few days. I actually saw this male over here trying to mate with the female again. So I was actually leaving them alone for a while. They were also in shed, so I didn't want to mess with them. So that's why the eggs have been in there for about a day or so now. Um, but yeah, pretty weird. I mean, I think it's been, what, two, three months since um, the female laid eggs last time. And now there's some more. So hopefully this one goes a bit better. The last batch did not make it through. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get them all out, put them in an incubator and I'll get back to you guys when I clean out the enclosure. But check how beautiful this up by half snake is. Obviously not venomous. <laughs> um, I do freehand of venomous, but yeah, you can see that I'm letting his head touch me. So it's not so big of a deal. But yeah, they've messed their water. Um, you can see that they've messed their water by them hiding underneath it. This is the mommy over here. Um, and you check her condition as well because she looked fine the last time, but that might have just been because of the eggs. Um, but yeah, she had been eating, but they all refused the meal last time I offered them. But yeah, I'm just gonna put them all in a separate bin and I'll get back to you guys soon. But yeah, um, I have, um, I don't know if my girlfriend's filming because she's still pointing the camera at me. Um, but I deep cleaned the enclosure, put a few more decorations in there, more, pardon me, um, a more, naturalistic hide you know <laughs> i'm joking but oh forgive my bending i have injured one of my discs in my spine but that is what it is my girlfriend's trying to get a better shot but she still can't um but here is the four house snakes that i have um obviously the biggest one that you guys can see there is the male my girlfriend's messing me up but I'll get out the female for you that just laid. Um, if she can go. Guys, and she's still a healthy weight, but down here on her lower third, she is a bit deflated, obviously from carrying those eggs. But she's still very healthy, almost meets what well, probably a meter long house snake. Very, very docile creatures that are. One of the snakes that I would recommend to young reptile enthusiasts, hopefully they aren't actually watching my channel because they shouldn't replicate what I'm doing, but yeah, um, they're similar, they're a colubrid, so they're in the same family as corn snakes and all of that. Um, I don't know what my girlfriend's doing, she's severely ADHD and it distracts me a lot. Um, she, I think, because I'm wearing grey sweatpants, she's gonna do something. But, um, we're trying to be, not kid friendly, but not swear as much. But she's absolutely gorgeous, one of the better starter pets to actually get. Um, hardly ever refuse food and I mean they're very very simple to keep very docile as well they'll hardly ever bite so yeah um, I'll put her back into the house filled up their water did a few dinguses in here hopefully they enjoy and I'll get the other three out for you real quick to show you the differences in colors that they can actually come in so this light one over here it's actually an albino morph. They do occur in the wild, but they aren't as common as normal house snakes like this guy over here and this one over here. This is a normal color that we would find here in the Western Cape, this brownish sort of color. But yeah, all of them can occur in the wild. Um, obviously albinos. It's a morph, it's a genetic mutation, so they're obviously a lot easier to see in the wild, so they don't often make it to adulthood. And these guys obviously a lot more camouflage and fits in a lot easier but yeah i'm gonna get them all into the house a little bit of enrichment for them um and yeah it's two females and two males in here so it's a breeding quadruplet um that's why they're all together 
gorgeous animals. Nice snakes to have. One of the few non-venomous that I actually get to work with quite often. But I'm going to move on. To, I have some other stuff to clean up, so I'm going to move on to that, and I'll check you guys then. Okay, so I just noticed that my black mama's water needs to be changed, and I haven't actually done a clean of his enclosure in a while. I've tried to leave him alone as much as possible. So it's time to do this. Um, obviously not with my bare hands. Not that stupid, even though I have had him just in my hands before. But yeah, this is a juvenile black mamba. Very, very flighty guy. Um, and he hasn't been eating well. That's why I've been trying to... Very, yeah, very warm. I've been trying to not handle him as much recently. Um, but you guys can see there. It's about a 1.5 meter black mamba. He is quite skinny, he needs to get a lot of weight on him, but he is very, very hot at the moment. So I don't think I'm gonna keep him up for that long, but you guys can see how beautiful the infamous black mamba with a bite that is named the kiss of death. And they are one of the most difficult snakes to handle just because of how agile they are and how readily they are to bite. And their venom is no joke at all. Their venom had 100% lethal lethality rate, well, mortality rate, um, untreated. So if you go untreated from one of these bites, it's 100% that you are going to die. And with no anti-venom now in South Africa, it would be a very terrible time if I got bit by this guy. But I'm just gonna let him go into here. Just spray down his enclosure, clean it up, clean his water bowl out. And yeah, I'm actually very surprised. The only enclosure without a light in, the plant is actually surviving and growing. The rest of them, they aren't with the growing lights in, so it's quite stupid. But let's be careful that he doesn't fling out of here. But oh my, let's show you guys how beautiful he is. He's gained a little bit of weight. His spine isn't showing yet, but he's on that sort of path if he continues. But yeah, he takes food maybe once every two weeks. And you are a bit feisty. Well, around about once every two weeks. Um, sometimes it goes a bit longer because he just, I don't know, he's just a bit weird. I thought changing him into a smaller enclosure would help with that. So I thought it was just that the big enclosure was spooking him because some animals, even arboreal animals like the mamba and the black mamba and the green mamba, do not do so well in huge enclosures. It's just from what I've noticed, some other people say different, but my animals don't seem to do well in big enclosures and that's a death roll that they love to do. Um, but yeah, so he has taken meals with me, but I don't know what it is. I think he just wants live. And unfortunately where I am, it is illegal to feed live rodents or live anything to these guys. So I'm just gonna have to push through it. I do not want to, force feed or assist feed I think that will just lose the trust between me and him because he was a lot more defensive when I first got him he actually quote unquote chased me um, obviously snakes more than likely won't chase you they just want to get away from you but if they're hitting in that direction and you in that direction like a black mamba they won't get out of your way but if you want to come shake here quickly Check out cute my big Cape Cobra. Cape Cobra is. He's been sitting there the whole time like that. He's busy shedding. He's had quite a bad shed, but he's also just had a meal. So I'm gonna wait until that meal's more digested before I even try and assist him. I've just been spraying him down, keeping the enclosure as humid as possible. And over here, the death adders, both of my death adders are actually also in shed at the moment in the new enclosure. They seem to be doing well. Um, most of the time they are actually underneath that leaf litter um, and you can barely even see them. Um, I need to clean the glass, but you guys can see there that milky secretion that covers the scales, well, between the old and new scales. And yeah, that's my Cape Cobra. Absolutely love him. He's doing a lot better now. <laughs> and my puff adders. I might do a full snake toy again soon. A lot has changed. Um, obviously not all of these are my animals. I just get to work with these guys and form with them. But yeah, I have a few more things to do. 
Nice okay, so my green mamba looked like it's had a full shed. Also did not eat its last meal, but I did not want to take it out because I did not want to mess up its shed. So it just has a rotting rat in there. Camera be careful. On guard. Okay. <laughs> but let's get it out. This oaky has not come out with age. And that's not fun. But look how gorgeous he is. Upside down. He has red in between his scales. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. And that luminous green head is super, super cool. Also looks like he has a faint, faint blue line down his body. If you look super carefully, I think you can see it more by the head if you ever hold still. And that's the red in between the scales and that blue line down his thing is indicative of a special locality. Can't remember what locality they are there. We're going to change it into um, Dendro Aspus Angustupus Intermedius, a subspecies, a different subspecies, but the guy that was actually um, researching these animals actually died. I think he actually committed suicide. I don't know if that's 100% correct. I heard it from someone and I couldn't find any information on him. Maybe the family didn't want it out and about. But yeah, the guy is same with the the Dendro Aspis Jamesonia, the Jameson's Green Mamba. Um, they were going to be split into three different um, subspecies. Because there's the black tail one, there is the normal Jameson mam Mamba, speaking like a flippin' Australian, and the black back Jameson Mamba, as well as the Western Green Mamba. So they were going to split a lot of these animals into different species. But now that he's sitting a bit better, maybe you can see that faint, it's a very faint blue line down the spine and the red in between the scales, you guys might be able to see. It's more, you can see it better on the lower part of his body when he's a bit lighter but you can see how luminous green that head is compared to the rest of his body he's a beautiful beautiful animal i have been trying to leave him alone quite a bit um, because he's also quite a shy eater but he's grown spectacularly in the time that i've had him um, just like the black mamba he is shy eater again um, so I try and keep handling to a minimum, but I need to start handling more so he's not so skittish, doesn't jump out at my camera woman and things like that. But he's a gorgeous, gorgeous mamba. I think he was, I think he's tripled in size since I first got him. He was a tiny little worm going on about almost a year now. Very healthy mamba. But I'm just going to get him into the bin, clean up his enclosure, and I'll get back to you guys soon. All right, so if you want to come have a look at the enclosure, I raided my mom's garden, broke some leads off so it can be more naturalistic for the green mamba. But I'm just gonna get old boy out. Again, messed up. Uh, apparently I've damaged the jelly sack in between the discs of my spine. So, yep, I have like an 80 year old problem. Um, so if I bend like a weirdo, blame my back. Gotcha calm down a lot now just even with a little bit of handy but you can see how gorgeous it is maybe now you guys can see the red in between the scales the back of it zoom in more the head is not focused on you you guys might be able to see it it's very very nice in person um, gives a little reddish tinge to it but Let's hope that he doesn't want to come to my arm and he just sails through trees again. Or goes straight to the ground, you know. I mean, whatever whatever blows your leaves. I can't want to say whatever sails your boat because, you know, snakes don't sail. They are actually very good swimmers. But if you want to come see the derpiest thing ever, here's a mamba head shed. Look how derpy those things are. And that can kill you within the hour but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one peace